I'm Coach Tom Yankello. Don't forget to subscribe to my World Class Boxing channel. Today we're going to start our new video series on vital targets. And we're going to start out with the liver shot to the body. There's many ways to land this shot. You can use punches to set these punches up. You can counter punch and go to the body with the liver shot. And you can also beat a guy when he's trying to counter punch you. You can beat him to the counter with the liver shot. So we're going to give you some examples of that today with some of the great footage that we have and some of these great video of some of these fights. So we're going to go over, uh, the first one we're going to go over is Mike Tyson. When he was coming up, going for the title, he fought a guy named Michael Johnson. And he threw a left hook to the body, to the liver, off of a right hand. He, he was in uh, right in front of Michael Johnson with his weaving and bobbing and his slipping the way he does. And Michael Johnson threw a left hook to the body, a left hook to the head, he, he bobbed. And he, then he threw the right hand and he bobbed and he threw the liver shot right to the liver. So he did, he did two bobs. He, under the left hook, under the left hit, right hand, left hook to the liver, and Johnson dropped. No, we didn't see it yet. Sorry, gonna, here it comes. There's the left there's hook. The hook to the body. Now we have the opposite situation with Roy Jones, who I had trained at one time. Uh, when he was coming up, getting ready to fight for the world title, uh, right before he fought Bernard Hopkins, for the first time, he fought a kid named Glenn Wolf, and... Roy threw, a one, threw his right hand, he threw a one-two combination, and Glenn, Glenn Wolf bobbed underneath it to go to counter, maybe to hit Roy with a, with a left hook to the head. And then what left, Roy did is he threw the left hook to the liver and beat him to, beat him to his counter. So Roy threw a one-two combination, Glenn went under it, and Roy caught him there. And the reason he caught him was when he bobbed underneath the punch, like we always talked about in our other video series, is everything in boxing is east and west. Even when you're bobbing and weaving, you're here. When you, if you have to go forward, you step to do it. You don't lean, you don't go north and south, and you don't get your head past your knee. And he did that. He got his head past his knee. So when he threw the one-two and he bobbed, he leaned forward like this. See? So he exposed the liver, and Roy went right to it. He went one-two, and he went right to the, right to the liver. He hit that well in the middle weights. He just... It's something strange. Every now and then they come along like that. He has near supernatural. Now we have another example of Gennady Glovkin. How he was able to set up the liver shot with a, with a with a lead punch that he would throw, a decoy punch that he was basically using to set up to put the, the guy in position so he could land the left hook to the liver. And he used that against Math, Matthew Macklin. Beautiful. He threw a right uppercut. So a right uppercut is a great punch to set that punch up as well. So what he did there in that fight is he'll throw the right uppercut. When he threw the right uppercut, Macklin, his instinct was to bring his hands in and pick them up because he got hit. And actually the guys a lot of times, when, if you do catch him with it, he'll raise his chin up and then there's going to be the body. So it's a right uppercut, left hook to the body. And he hit Matthew Macklin with that punch and Macklin was out for the count. I mean, he scored a KO in that fight. Gut, hier, ja, ja, ersten Uppercut angedeutet, zwei Uppercuts, die Decke nach oben gezogen und dann einfach schön raus, diesen kleinen Sides. Now we have another great example, how Mickey Ward set up that punch against Arturo Gatti, one of the greatest fights you'll ever see. In round nine, he used a, a touch left hook up to the head to set up the left hook to the liver. And what he did, and, and how he was trying to set up Gatti for the left hook to the body, to the liver was he threw the first left hook to the body, he threw it very hard. And Gaddy and Gaddy instinctively saw it coming. So what Mickey did is he came back up and he kind of threw it, he didn't throw it as hard. He threw it at a, at a slower speed just to get Gaddy to raise his hands. And he, he went up and he just kind of touched him up top to get his hands to come up and he quickly went right back down and caught him right back to the liver. And that was a shot that was just I mean, started that ninth round. It was just a great, great war. If you watch that footage, we have footage, and we'll show you that shot. Just a great, great fight. As Ward before. A body shot again. That's a body shot. It's the left hook. To
Now we have another example of Mickey Ward throwing that left hook to the liver again from a southpaw stance, which he would do, and he did that in a, many of his fights, actually. The one fight that stands out is when he fought Alfonso Sanchez, and he was down on the cards. He lost every round. He was down seven rounds to nothing in that fight. Uh, they thought the fight should have been stopped. They, he was getting beat so bad. Then he went to his patent, left hook to the liver, and it, it changed the whole fight. He stopped Alfonso Sanchez with one liver shot. He came at him in a southpaw stance. He was in a southpaw stance, and he threw, his, he threw a left hook to the head from a southpaw stance. He kind of just touched it here. When he, like I said, he didn't throw a full blast. He kind of just touched it here to raise the hands of Sanchez, and then he quickly went right back down to the body and cut the liver right there, and that was all she wrote. Sanchez was out for the count, never got back up, and people were in a state of shock. It was one of the, the rarest things you'll ever see in boxing, one-punch knockout with a guy that hadn't won a second of a fight. Let's take another look. This is one of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen in boxing. And Mickey <laughs> just... just I, I, I tell you, you can't make it up, folks. You know what Mickey <laughs> Justin told me and said? He said, you can't give up in this game. Well... I guess he didn't give up. No, he didn't. Another example we have of the liver shot being set up, actually beating the guy to the counter punch again, just the way Roy did, as we previously watched him do it against Glenn Wolf, was Bernard Hopkins when he fought Oscar De La Hoya. When he fought Oscar De La Hoya, he threw a jab at Oscar De La Hoya, but it wasn't a real hard jab, it was a jab, and Oscar kind of tried to, he, he, he when, Bernard threw the jab, he kind of tried to start to slip to throw, the, to throw his hook. When he slipped to throw his hook, Bernard was able to land the left hook to the liver. And the way he did that was he threw the jab, and Oscar kind of tried to pick his hands up like this, but then he started to slip this way to try to come back with the left hook, and Bernard quickly went back down and threw the liver shot. So he threw it, he threw it here, Oscar went that way, and he beat him to it. If he had stood there off his jab, maybe Oscar would have hit him with a hook. But what he did is he immediately and quickly went right back down to the liver off his jab. So he brought Oscar's hands in a little bit, and Oscar kind of turned here, and then he went left hook to the liver and caught him. And that was all she wrote in that fight. And we know the great heart that Oscar De La Hoya has. He's shown that, but that liver shot is a totally different animal. A lot of guys do not get up from that shot. And he, and he was one in that fight that did not get up. Earlier, seemed like it... It was Shen Mabel, who knows? Delayed reaction. De La Hoya clearly still reacting to that left hook to the body, and then he took a little shot on the head, but no, the body unquestionably shot. it was the body shot that, that finished Oscar De La Hoya in the fight. That he didn't see. Well, I've said it many times, Emmanuel Stewart, if I can have one weapon to take into my next life. Now we'll go with another example from a southpaw stance. Lucian Boutte, he fought Lubrado Andrade. And he was able to counter Andrade when he threw a straight right hand. He slipped to the outside and he came right back with the liver shot from a southpaw stance. Boutte, Boutte threw it from, a, from his southpaw stance that he is. Lombrade, Andrade threw the straight right hand lead. He was in the southpaw stance and Andrade threw the right hand. He slipped to the outside of it and that's exposed that whole side of the liver and he catches Andre Day with the liver shot, and he went down, and that was the end of that fight. See coming. Now here's the end. Boom, right there. Left oh. hand, right to the stomach and ribs. These are just a few examples that we went over here today. There's so many different ways. I mean, Thomas Hearns used to do it off of his jab. Uh, guys will throw right hands and go to the body. Guys will throw right hooks to the body and come back with left hooks. So there's so many ways, and we will go into depth and detail and show you how all that, that is done the proper way when we come out with our instructional videos. Okay. Today we're going to start... Vital shots, right? Vital shots, yeah. So we're going to go over some ways that this shot is set up. This can be also be used as a counter punch. It can be used up, like I said, to, you can set it up with certain punches. 
And it can, it can counter the counter and it, it can be a counter punch. Mm -hmm. Have you read anything you do? Now we have. Now we have the opposite opposite situation. So there's some other examples. We can go on and on. I can I can I can uh, show you all kinds of different examples, and we will go into depth and show you thousands of examples. I'm going crazy. Get excited. I'm going to sit up and we're all fucking nice trying to find thousands. <laughs> you, you could find thousands <laughs> through history. Yeah, right. So what he did is he came back up to the head at a speed where it wasn't full black. He just kind of came up and touched him a little bit and then he went fastly, quickly, right back down to the body. I said fast. I said quickly. <laughs> it's all right. Can we do that one again? Do you want to do it again? Is that the huh? or... I said quickly after. Yeah, you fastly, I mean quickly. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm just kind of, up words. I'm just kind of cut from there. Fastly. I, I, I probably quickly. could. Yeah. I can take care of that. As yeah. long as we don't have to go back and do one of those voiceovers again. That's just no, you're good. That's just you want to do it again? Okay.